Hello everyone, welcome to the Penguin Coders. In this video, we will learn about SVG images and why they are beneficial in you for using SVG images in our Android application and the advantages of SVG images. So let's get started. So basically, if you see what are SVC, SVG images, so SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. So it's a kind of image which is encoded by a code which is in XML format as you can see SVG defines vector based graphics in XML format and all the images which are produced through SVG are written in XML and they are later generated to form an image. So this image since it's formed by a code we can scale it to any size without losing the image quality and also we can without any increase in the file size as unlike images such as PNG or JPEG formats. So if you want to see how an SVG image looks like, we have an example of a, this small little settings icon or gear icon if you can say, which is generated by this small code. So you can see the size of the code will be approximately 2 to 4 KBs and not more than that. While if you are to get this image and load it in your application, it would be more than 10 to 16 KBs or if you depending on the resolution of the images, the size could go higher up to 512 KB and more. So we can say that SVG images are very advantageous and using the same code, we can get this image for multiple resolutions or, or multiple resolutions which are available in Android. So now we will learn how we how we can use this SVG images in our application. If you go and you want to use any image in your application, you have to keep that image in your drawable for folder. So if you will see, there are already two XML files here, which is the IC launcher background and foreground, which is usually the app icon. And if you go to this map map folder, you will see there is an icon launcher. So this is the launcher icon and you will see there are multiple resolutions here, which starting from HDPI, MHDPI, XHDPI to triple X HDPI. So you see multiple file formats have to be created to incorporate different resolutions of the screens and therefore we will be using SVG to keep only one image which can be used everywhere. So you have two options here uh, when you have to use any SVG images. So we go to new and we click on vector asset. So in the inside the vector asset there are two options how you can use this vector drawables or SVG images in your application. One is through clipart and other is through local file. So clipart is basically the inbuilt or pre-built SVG images which are already which already come with Android Studio. So if you click on that Android icon, you will be able to see all the images which uh, Android has pre-built in it. So suppose if I have to use this close icon, so close, I will click on that close icon. I'll click on OK and I can choose the size of the image the resolution here only so I can mark it as suppose say 64 dp and the color and everything can be changed with the hex code RGB code or using this color palette. So anything can be done here and also we can change the opacity of the code opacity of the image which will make it lighter and then the darkest images. So we click on next and we can save this image in our drawable on clicking of finish it will go to the drawable and we will be able to see that the image has generated so if you see our image code if you see that the width height tint and everything is modifiable in the xml code and you and the preview will be shown on the right of the screen so you can see it's very easy to use svg images in android applications as such now if you want to have any custom svg image inside your application, we, I will show you how to do that. So go to vector asset and click on local file and we can choose any path here. So I will click on browse and go to the location where I have my SVG image. So it's on desktop and it's a boy image. So boy.svg, I will click on open and you will be able to see that I have this image here and I'll be able to change the size and everything do everything one option is missing which is the color which we can later go and modify in the xml code as well so i'll click on next and click on finish so i i have imported this ic boy in my image and if you see here we have something called fill color which is basically used to uh, change the color of your image or any path if you want to change it out so you can just modify it here and change that
Now I will show you by importing this boy image inside my code to you uh, show you how to use that. So we will go to the main activity, activity main.xml and then click on image view. So on clicking in image view, I'll change the layout width to wrap content and height to wrap content and I will go for Android SRC. So it's source. Source will be at the rate drawable where I have saved my image drawable slash icon boy. So if you see the image is already appearing here and we can change the size and everything everything we can modify it here. So if I changed it to 100 dp uh, the boy image will be uh, changed to 100 dp and width similarly height also changed to 100 dp. We can move this in center. Now you know how to use SVG images in your application. I hope this video was useful to you and now you will be able to use this SVG images in your application and make use of the features which Android Studio gives us. So thank you. If you like the video, please hit a like button and if you want more videos and tutorials and Android projects, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.